second. Oh my goodness. Oh, allergies. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have devoted this entire video to one item of clothing and that is this totem, a camel coat. Yes, I still have the price tag on it because it's been raining in New York and I haven't really gotten a chance to wear it out yet, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it because this coat and I have been through a journey together. And honestly, this coat is how I want to purchase more things moving forward. So now that my style, I'm like almost going to be 33, I'm 32 right now. Now that I'm in my 30s, my style is calming down a little for lack of a better word. I feel less of the need to experiment. I mean, I definitely insert trendy pieces here and there, which I've talked about before, but I feel like I'm really coming into my own as far as like what I want to dress like and what I want to look like and who I just want to be as a person. And so with that, I feel good about focusing my energy now. Like you guys have seen my closet. You've seen my closet tour. I have a ton of clothes. I have a ton of variety of clothes. Now I really just want to try sticking to buying things that I really love and that I think are really special and that I really care about. And so this piece is kind of one of the first ones that I've actually done this with. And I'll talk a little bit about how I'm going to do that moving forward. So I created a wish list on my Pinterest. I'll share that with you guys. And I'll actually probably do a separate video where I kind of walk through the items on my wish list. But this totem coat has been on my Pinterest for at least a year now. And this coat full price was well over a thousand dollars, which is an insane amount of money, I will say, <laughs> to spend on any one item, but other than bags, that's different. But to spend that much money on a coat, I just like, I couldn't really justify it, but I also couldn't stop thinking about it. I could not stop thinking about this coat for over a year. And that's honestly what I want. I want to lust over something, to constantly think about it, how I would pair with outfits and just know that when I bring it into my wardrobe and then when I make an investment with it, that it's 100% going to be worth it and that I'm going to love it. And that's exactly what's happening with this coat. So Totem in general is a really fantastic brand. I hope I'm saying that right. Totem, Totem, I'm not sure, but they're all about sustainability and they just have really classic, just beautiful pieces. So I also felt comfortable investing in this brand, even though it's not like a full blown designer brand or anything, it is a designer brand, but you know what I mean? It's not like a Fendi, which I find actually ironic because the place that I ordered it from actually sent it to me with this Fendi hanger, which I think is quite funny. It's a nice hanger. Uh, I guess they didn't have any totem hangers around, but here's the story. So I saw online, I don't know. I was Googling the coat because that's just what I do. I like looking at the coat online. I love this coat. And I saw that on Sense, which is a place that I've gotten a few things before, I've gotten a few things from before, they had this coat and it was on sale, almost half off, like very on sale to the point where I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I didn't buy it just then. I had enough self-constraint and I was like, should I buy it? Should I get it? Like, this is this the moment? And I waited for a couple of days and then I saw the extra small and Sense does this thing that's very cruel and very effective where they will tell you how many of each size they have left. So there'll be like one extra small left, one small left. And in your head, you're like, there's only one left. I have to get that. Very effective. Don't know if it's true if there's only one left, but when the extra small went, I was like, because I knew I wanted to get the small. I was like, I have to order this because I will be so upset with myself if this coat goes because it was the only place where it was on sale. Everywhere else, full price, net a porte their own website. I mean, everything, it was on, not on sale. And so, and it's still to this day, not on sale anywhere else. And so I ordered it and I came and I wanted to kind of walk through it with you guys and talk about why I love it. So. Number one thing about this coat that you can't understand when you're looking at it online is the fabric. The fabric is just exactly what you would expect out of a coat of this price point. It is, it feels so soft and wonderful, but you can tell, woo, 
but you can tell that it's gonna wear really well and it's not too thick. So this is a perfect sort of transitional coat that's gonna get me through into spring, but I love that I can layer pieces under it so it's big enough where I think I could have honestly gotten the extra small, but then I wouldn't have been able to wear sweaters and things underneath of it as easily. And it's also, it's a size 34, if you're wondering. So that's what equivalents to a small. But yeah, it's just so beautifully made. I mean, you can see the tailoring all on the inside. Let me try to read some of the fabric information for you. Yeah. It's a Stockholm brand. It's a robe coat. What does it say, actually? Yeah, it's 100% wool and it's just a very striking coat. I love a blanket coat. Most of my coats are blanket coats. I've talked about it in my coat video, which I'll share with you. And I was trying to find something similar, like kind of a knockoff piece of this. Uh, I think I actually talked about this coat in that video. I manifested uh, that I got from Mango, but like it's not even close to this coat. I mean, this coat is just incredible, but I love the really wide lapel on it. I love this very thick belt that goes around the waist and just like cinches you in. I also love that you can take the belt off and have it be sort of a more free flowing shawl type look. I've seen pictures of Jennifer Lawrence wearing this, pictures of Katie Holmes. Not that famous people by any means, like they can dress bad as well, but I just think it's a very chic, practical coat that's gonna last for the ages. Another thing that I thought was really special about this coat was the length. So it's very rare to see a coat that's so full length. And I just think there's something so elegant and dramatic. The row also has, a, that's the next piece that I'm manifesting, this black long coat that I think is just stunning like it just feels like something that's very elegant about it so the length of this I think is what really sets it apart from any other coat that you see ultimately it looks really special and for reference I'm 5'7 I'm about 130 pounds I normally am a size small so this definitely fits true to size uh, it is long like if you're shorter than me you would have to probably get it hemmed is the one downside and I thought about getting it hemmed, to be honest, just a tiny bit, but I, I do appreciate the drama of it being long. I'm gonna have to wear it out and about and see if that gets annoying or not. Another area I could potentially have it tailored is in the sleeve, but I actually really like the dramaticness of the sleeve and how long it is and how it covers your hands. And I like it because it has this little slit here, so you can actually have a little bit of freedom in there and then it's got a very high slit in the back so a camel coat is just it, it honestly i think I, I keep using the words like classy and elegant but it's so true it really can make any piece i could be wearing jeans from forever 21 and a t-shirt from target with this and i could look like a million dollars it truly does elevate any outfit that you're wearing I love wearing a camel coat with my all black outfits. As you guys know, I wear a ton, a ton of black, but obviously would look really beautiful with cream as well. Oh, I'm thinking in the winter, like my cream sweater with some black leather pants and some boots. And you, it, it's almost like you have a built-in scarf because you have this really wide lapel and yeah, I just think it will look so beautiful with everything in my wardrobe, with trousers. I've also seen it online just thrown over sort of what I'm wearing right now, which is more sort of athleisure wear with like sweatpants and tennis shoes. If you want to look like, you know, you've put in a little bit of effort, but you're still wearing a sort of casual clothing. But yeah, I just think this coat is, it's just incredible. And it's going to be, ugh, it's just going to be such, such an amazing addition to my wardrobe and I'm so excited to be wearing this. So wanted to walk through the coat. I'll try to get some close-ups of some of the more interesting details for you all. And yeah, let me know what piece you're lusting after. And if you'd also like to see a video about my whole entire wish list. and I will see you all in my next video.